Hey guys, it's Raul again, and today I'll be sharing with you guys the books that are on my radar for this summer. So now during the summer, now that I have a break from school for the next four months or so, there are a pile of books that I'm hoping to get to. I'm almost 99% sure that I'm going to get to. I don't really do very well with TBRs, but these are really strong contenders, ones that I really want to read, ones that are definitely on my radar. So unless something else kind of comes up and my mood changes a little bit, these are kind of like the set books that I want to try and get to. I might get to more books than these. I'll definitely try and pick some up um, on audiobook and everything. So I'll, I'll be listening to other things on audiobook on top of these physical ones. But these are all of the physical books that I own that I want to try and get to this summer. The first two books I'm currently reading, the first one being American Gods by Neil Gaiman. This one a lot of people know about as the new show is coming out and everything. And yeah, everyone's kind of talking about this one. I'm really enjoying it so far. I'm only about 170 pages or so. So yeah, we will see um, how long it takes me to get to this one. I'm trying to read one big book a month. So this is the big book that I've chosen for May. And then I'm also reading Illuminae by Amy Crossman and Jay Kristoff. This is a YA sci-fi story. A lot of people have talked about this one. It's really, really, really hyped here on BookTube. And so far, I think it's okay. I mean, hopefully it gets better at this point, but I'm only about 140 pages or so into this one. So we will see as it moves on if it really is as people describe it to be. I also want to get to It by Stephen King. This is probably going to be the giant book that I read probably sometime in June or maybe even um, end of July or something. But yeah, a lot of people are also talking about this one with the movie coming out and everything. I have not read this one because this is a giant book. This is probably like 12 or 1300 pages or so. But I really wanna to get to this one. I haven't read anything by Stephen King in a while. And yeah, I hear this is one of his best ones. And I also want to try and get to The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. This is a well-loved, well-known book here on BookTube. Um, yeah, everyone talks about how amazing it is, how it's, you know, a great adult fantasy and a great story and everything. So I'm hoping to get to this one next month in June. We'll see what happens. That's kind of my goal is, is to save this one for next month. But we will see. But I definitely, I, I know I'm going to get to this one. I don't know when, but I know I'm definitely going to read it this summer. And the next book that I want to try and get to is The Wind-Up Girl by Paolo Bacigalupi. This is a adult sci-fi story that uh, takes place in the future. And calories have been deemed currency, so people are kind of like uh, kind of doing the transaction and stuff with food because there's a lot of food that's kind of grown really scarce or has become really extinct so food and certain foods have become really valuable and everything so it sounds really interesting I've been kind of in the mood for sci-fi and everything and wanting to check out more um, like adult sci-fi and stuff so I'm definitely going to try and get to this one this summer because it's something that seems really really interesting according to like the back and everything it's won a lot of awards and stuff so I'm really interested to check this one out and see what I think about this one and then if I have enough time time with all of my big books, I wanted to pick up The Luminaries by Eleanor Catton. Um, don't really know much about this one. I know it's kind of a historical somewhat mystery, I think it is, from the synopsis. That's kind of the vibe that I've got, but I've heard good things about this one. I haven't really heard a lot of people talk about it here on, on BookTube. I know a lot of people have kind of like hauled it, but haven't really read it, so I'm curious to see um, what I think about this one. So I'm really hoping that I'm able to get to a lot of the other books that I want to read so that I can get to this one also. Then there are two books that I've chosen based on my try a chapter tag. I will link those down below. I did the try a chapter tag twice. One to pick a standalone and one to pick a series that I wanted to uh, read this summer. So the standalone that I've chosen was Faking Normal by Courtney C. Stevens. Uh, this is about a girl I think who goes um, through some kind of abuse and like the aftermath of that abuse and her kind of trying to live her life with like this thing that happened to her and everything and I read the first chapter of this and really really enjoyed it so I chose this one as my standalone and then the series that I chose to read this summer was the Half Bad series by Sally Green. I know this is a story about a boy who's half black witch half white witch and I guess his father is like a black witch so he's trying to kind of like decide what side I guess he wants to be on and everything and I read also the first chapter of this one and really enjoyed this one also so this is definitely going to be a series that I'm hoping to binge through this summer. And then I have a couple of classics that I really want to get to. The first one being Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. I've never read Jane Eyre before, but I know we kind of touched upon it very briefly during school and my professor um, was talking about it a couple of times. So I definitely want to get to this one this summer and kind of see um, what I think about classics because I want to get into more classics. So yeah, I'm going to definitely try this one. And then I also want to get to The Monk by Matthew Gregory Lewis. This is a gothic, classic gothic horror novel about this monk 
who goes around killing and raping women after he makes a deal with this demon and everything. So it sounds really creepy. I read, I think, a chapter or two um, in school for my class and everything. So I definitely want to get to the entirety of this novel and see kind of how everything plays out. And then I also want to get to Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. And this is a book that I really don't have to really go much into. A lot of people know what Pride and Prejudice is about. I've never read it before, but I have watched the movie, and I definitely want to get to more uh, Jane Austen and everything, because I did do my final paper on Jane Austen, and yeah, I really want to read some of her novels after do writing that paper and doing research on her and everything, so definitely going to read Pride and Prejudice this summer. And then I have a couple of diverse reads that I want to get to, the first one being Americana by Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie. A lot of people have talked about this book and her writing and how great and wonderful it is. I know it's about um, kind of this woman and immigration and 9-11 and being separated from the man that she loves and everything. So yeah, I'm curious to get to this one. Like I said, I've heard amazing things about it. So I'm hoping to be able to pick this one up at some point this summer also. And then the last book on this list is Cuba 15 by Nancy Osa. This is about a Cuban girl who lives in Florida and her quinceanero is coming up and everything. And her grandmother is trying to plan this giant Cuban culture themed party and everything. And she's never really been to Cuba, so she's not really comfortable with all of this Cuban culture, but her grandmother really wants to throw this wonderful party with like all of these memories from Cuba and everything. So this is fairly short. I will definitely be able to get to this one this summer and I'm hoping that it's something that I'm really going to enjoy. So yeah guys, that is it for all of the books that are on my radar for this summer, books that I'm hoping to get to. Like I said, I'm probably like 99% sure that I'll be able to get to all of these and then plus all of the audiobooks that I actually end up listening to and then I'll probably pile on some more books on top of these. Also, comment down below. Let me know if you guys have read any of these books and what your thoughts are and what book you guys are looking forward to the most to reading this summer also. Thank you guys all for watching and I will see you all next time.